Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Mm-hmm. This is like the second episode. Yeah. Girls, hope you have done your homework. I've done mine. I don't know about Angel. Ada, why are you sounding like you? I know the one I did mine. Okay, okay, you've both done your homework. That's okay. But I won't allow you to stay up for this program. Tomorrow is no weekend. It's mm-hmm. school day. Okay? Dad noted, but seeing this program for one hour with you won't hurt. It's actually a 30 minute program, but no. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I've seen this program. It's not even like it's interesting. It's very boring. So I'm just going to. Okay, please go to bed. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, go to bed. Mm. Okay. Please. It's alright. We can watch it. No, 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 no. Up. up I didn't up, say up. I hated it. Go to bed. Alright. You can go to bed. Right Good night. Good night. Come on. No kiss for mommy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. What? Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, Good baby. Night. Take care. Good night. <laughs> mm. So now you're myself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think this was the movie that brought him out tomorrow. Yeah, right. Nightmares for once. What do you mean? Do you think it's my fault? I keep seeing the same hands trying to strangle pray, me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray to God so that He will eliminate every demon trying to kill you, not disturbing me every night. I want to don't don't disturb me again. I want to sleep. If you cannot pray, you leave me alone. Stop disturbing me. Ha! See my fault that you're seeing hand. I want to strangle you. Me. No, I cannot even sleep. What do I do? Can't find all the money in my wallet. Why did you take all the money again? What do you mean, why did I take all the money again? I mean, I didn't touch your wallet, nor did I take any of your money. So, what do you mean you didn't touch my wallet? This is not the first time it's happening that my money is missing, but I overlook it. But this one, I want to use it, and it's not there. Babe, I said I didn't take your money. I mean, I withdrew money yesterday. I withdrew 30,000 naira yesterday. 1,000 naira notes, 30 pieces. I, yes, I, what do I want to do with your money? I have my own money now. What do you mean I took your money? Yes, now, see, I withdrew my own. 
This is not the first time my money is missing from my wallet. It's not. It's just you and I in this room. So I don't understand when you say you don't know. What is it? My money is missing. I mean, I withdrew 30,000 Naira yesterday. 1,000 Naira notes, 30 pieces. And... I don't understand. Of course. Yes, now. Wait. <sighs> don't tell me our daughters have started stealing. It can't be. If I find out that any of them stole my money, they, they, they are dead. Move in, move in, move in, move in. Move, move, move. Bring out your bags. Bring out your bags. Fast, 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 fast. Bring your bag. Go and bring your other bag. Bring your, your, your box. Give it to me. Ah, ah, these children, I, do, I don't know what you are turning into. Eh? Something has been happening in this house and your father thinks I'm the one taking his money. Ah, ah. These children, eh? I don't know what you guys. Whose bag is this? That's in this bag. Ada, Ada, what are you doing with this money in your bag? Eh? What are you doing with this money? It's not mine. Ah. Ada, what are you doing with 20,000 in your bag? No, it's not mine. How did you? How did you? What are you in your bag? Wait, wait. What, what, what is 2000 Naira doing in your bag? What is going on here? What, what, is, what, 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 what is going on here? Wait, don't keep me. What is it? Ada! What is this? What is this? No! So why did you get your bag? I don't know. What is going on here? I'm asking it. Hey, go to the answer. Don't worry, let me answer the question. <laughs> Do you know what we just found now? Mom found 20,000 Naira in Ada's school bag. Ha! Huh. Ada! Let me see. I knew it. I knew that there were rats living in this house. I do not know the, the rats used to sleep every night beside me. When did this start? When? No. I am so disappointed. Disappointed. If I wasn't late for work, you would have seen the other side of me right here. Make sure you give your mother the balance of my money when I return. I'll keep this one. Oh, honey, honey, just let me have it. I need to go to the market to get some things. Oh, well, I have things I need to do with money at the office. I'll keep this one. Make sure she gives you my balance. Possibly she will give you your own money. Don't let me come back here and I don't see that balance. Honey, you should have just given me that money. I need the money. Eh? Ada. Ada, when did this start? So you have been the one stealing in this house. I swear by God. And that's you have been the one stealing. Stealing my money in this house. Know. Ada, you are a disappointment to this family. You are a disgrace. Look what you have done to a common thief. A professional criminal. Oh, Angel, why are you sounding like this? I don't know how the money got into my bag. Will you close your mouth and stop denying it? Stop lying! You and I know that you stole the money. How could you even have the guts to walk into your own parents' room and take such a huge amount of money? That huge amount of money, what are you doing with it? Eh? Oh, Angel, I'm not a thief. I don't know how it happened. I said close your mouth and stop lying. Accept it. Accept your mistake for once. You stole it. Accept it. Ha! Huh, how can you be denying it? 
before somebody will tell me that I don't study, I don't read. Let me still pick the long road home and read. Mm. Got you. For how long has this been going on that my husband thinks I'm a thief? Taking his money? <sighs> but what changed at that? Is it an oversight or I have not been doing my work properly? Come in. Oh. Oh. Mm, I know what you're thinking about. But it's not your fault. I think Ada is possessed. Yes, because she always wakes up in the middle of the night screaming. Yes. Really? Yes, I'm, I'm telling you. When I ask her, she will say that um, in her dream, she saw a man strangling her, you know, holding her neck. That's just a dream. It has nothing to do with her stealing her bit. Mm, you can never tell. You can never tell. Maybe as a mother that you are to her, just call her and talk to her. Maybe she'll open up to you. <laughs> but if, if you don't do that... That might just turn into a, a certified criminal. I'm Shut up your mouth. I've told you to never speak ill of your sister. Sorry. Did you hear me? Yes. I'm not trying to speak ill of her. Just saying the truth. It's okay. No, it, it's, it's possible come, come that and go. the dream is... It's okay. Go. Go. Just go. Go. Okay. Ada, you have to stop crying and talk to me. When did you start stealing our money? Eh? Ada, talk. Speak up. She's your mother so that she will know how she can help you. You understand? Yeah, Ada. Will you shut up your mouth? Am I talking to you? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to make her speak up like the senior sister that I am to her. Leave us alone. Why are you telling your face? You heard me. I said leave this room right now. I want to speak to her alone. You're telling your face though. It's fine. I'll just... I'll go. Because <clears throat> I'm not smart. Silly girl. Ada. Now talk to me. Where is the remaining money? Me? I don't know how that money got into my bag. I'm not a thief. Ada, if you keep lying to me, I won't be able to help you. Now your father thinks I'm because of all that is happening and I've failed in my duty as a mother. Where is the remaining money, Ada? And then Angel said you've been having some weird dreams. How come you never told me about them? It's just, I, I always see the same hands trying to strangle me. But that has nothing to do with this. Mommy, I'm not a thief. Anna, please, where is the remaining money? Where is the money? No, 
It's a setup. You can't see the whole picture. What will I be doing with 80,000 Naira? But there are a lot of things you can do with 80,000 Naira. A lot of things you can do with 80,000 Naira. Give me the money, please. Please. As it stands now, you don't want to tell me the truth. Then you will have your father to deal with. I can't help you. Angel, why is your food still in the kitchen? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm trying to finish up my project. I have to finish up. So I need to finish it up before tomorrow. You know, we're resuming tomorrow after the And why didn't you do your project when Ada did hers? Okay, mom, please. Please. Don't try to compare me. Compare me with that thief. I know you will say that <laughs> she's one of the best students in the class and I failed until she met me in the class. But that doesn't matter. She's a thief. Angel, I've told you to stop calling your sister a thief. But she's what is a, wrong with you? She's a thief. She's a criminal. Let's call a spade a spade. Aksa, um, hello, uh, criminal. I ain't not a criminal. Shut up! <sighs> Every time your mouth will be wrong. Sorry, yo. I'm just trying to clarify, though, from the criminal herself. I'll soon use use needle to sew it up for you. <sighs> Come on. Criminal. Do you want more food? No, mommy, thank you. All right, darling. Oh, wow. That's so kind of you. Welcome, honey. Yeah, thank you. Have your daughter brought out my balance? Babe, we just go back now, eh? Do you want to have your bath first or you want me to get you dinner? Fine. Prepare my dinner. I'll take my shower. Okay, please just come down soon. my pot of stew.
Now, which of you took all the chicken in my pot? Chicken? Mm-hmm. Chicken. So, mommy, your pot is empty now. That's creepy. But uh, isn't it obvious? Like, like, I've not eaten since then. I just came from studying to this bed. And Ada, she has really entered the kitchen. She has carried her food. She has dropped her plate. So who knows? I don't even know if she if she took all the chicken. I don't know. Well, Ada, Ma, don't even look at me because I don't even know what happened. You saw me when I was eating. You came and you saw me. You even saw that there was only one piece of chicken on my plate. Ah uh, yes. Well, we saw that there was only one piece of chicken on my <sighs> plate. But what we did not see was. When you are going to carry the food. Yes. I can see that both of you are bent on disgracing and creating problem for me in this marriage. Ada, come down here. Come down here. What is what is your problem? Honey, I'm sorry for what happened just now, please. Um, can I make you noodles and egg? Just manage it for tonight, please. You're very stupid. <gasps> Annabelle, you're very stupid. I, I am so disappointed in you right now. I'm, I'm looking for words to use to describe you and I can't find any. What? Are you kidding me? Right under your nose, our daughter, who is the better version of us? Good in everything, in academics, good in doing chores, good, 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 very obedient and loyal all of a sudden. Overnight, she becomes a thief. Right under your nose. Come on, Isaac. No. Why are you blaming me for her misconduct? It's not like I'm the one that asked her to, to, to steal. I didn't... Who am I supposed to blame? Myself? Of course not. No, give me reasons I should not blame you. Tell me, Ashina. Come on, get out, you're very stupid. No, 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 no. En enough of that, please. And no, I won't allow you to, to keep calling me names. The other time you said stupid. Now, no, you can't call me names. The fact that our daughter changed or don't, does not give you the right to, to, to start calling me stup stupid and idiot. I won't take it from you next time. Please don't call me names again. I don't oh, like it. No, what, no. What will you do? No, I'm calling you stupid. What will you do? You're, so you're not the man, the man of the house. Or you beat me? No, come and beat me. I'm challenging you. No, take one post. You're very stupid. Where are you going to now? I should, I shouldn't be, no, I, I should blame myself. <laughs> God, Ada, you're now an armed robber. A professional one at that. But wait, how? How did this stealing spirit get into you? You stole a huge amount of money this morning. Even we have not finished talking about that case. You have emptied the pot. You have taken all the chicken in the pot. How did you do it? Why are you doing this kind of thing, Ada? Angel, you know I didn't do that. I'm not a thief. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know whether you did it, whether you did not do it. I don't know you at all. What makes me angry is when you deny it, even when it's very obvious that you did it, you just choose to deny it. Ada, this is so bad. But let me ask you a question. How did you even manage? It's like you're now a professional in this thing. You even started without me knowing. How did you manage? Because I know that... If I calculate, I know I'm not good in my studies, and you're, you're, you're smarter than me, but if I can calculate with my small brain, from the time you left to carry your food to the time you came back, it's less than one minute. So how do you eat five pieces of chicken in less than one minute? Ha! You must be a genius, so, for stealing five pieces of chicken in less than one minute. Angela, I'm not a thief. Please shut up your mouth and, and stop denying it. You're a thief. You're a thief. You stole money. You stole... Who knows the next thing you will steal now? You just steal me. Come and take me. Ada, 
you know you're the one stealing everything in this house. You know you're stealing everything, but you keep lying over and over again. We've caught you before, and we'll still catch you again. Who knows the next thing you will steal? Ada, look, I'm not going to suffer for what I did not do. And if you steal again, if you steal again and mom punishes me, I will kill you with my bare hands. You know, I'm beginning to suspect you're the one that's stealing all these things and you're blaming it on me. Ada, if I hear a word from your mouth again, if you say that kind of thing out again, I'm going to beat life out of your body. It's like you don't know me. You can do whatever you want to do. But I will not be admitting to something I did not do. Good night. Are you talking? Are you talking to me like? Come down. Yeah. Ada, that is how I'm going to do the project. I don't care what you're saying. No, listen to me. The reason why the teacher gave you. No, Mark, because you used to didn't teach us. I could just use a short quote. No, Is that no sense? You oh, because you're uh, uh yeah. Mom. Because you're way smart oh, way smarter than me. That. That's what you're trying to say, don't that you know what wrong. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to use the short quote and I don't care how Wait. he marks it or no. Oh, John, what's up? John what's phone it? is missing. Please let me check your bag. <laughs> this is stupidity, brother. Yes. <sighs> I will not let you search my bag. I didn't steal any phone. Let me check. Let me check. Please. Just okay. The sooner the better. Just give him please. Yeah. Okay. I'll just do it. Just because of my dad. And be quick. Don't don't drag my bag like that. Ada, please. Let me check your bag. Sure. <clears throat> Ada, you are a thief. So you stole Joe's phones? No, no. Listen, I'm sorry. Somebody must have put it in there. Okay, don't no worry. Ada, how did you How did you steal that? I didn't take the phone. Then how is it in your bag? I don't know. So I just said someone put it in there. Okay, so how? Who? Like, how oh am my I God. supposed you to know? You keep embarrassing me each and every time I walk with you. And I'm done. I'm done. <clears throat> Hello, girls. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Crap, fine. You know how it is walking all the way from you <laughs> from road two down here. <laughs> Where are your daughters? They are in their room. They just got back from school a while ago. <sighs> what happened? I'm just surprised that such an act could happen without your notice. The most brilliant child in our school that everybody is so proud of could actually be involved in such an abominable act. Okay, Miss Juliet, please, can you stop all of this and tell me what exactly happened? What happened? <sighs> Miss Juliet, please, what happened? It's Ada. I'm talking about Ada, your daughter. What did Ada do? She stole her classmate's Android phone today in school. In fact, if this has got into the principal office, she would have been expelled. And that is the more reason why I had to call your husband immediately to report. Yes. And then he asked me to come over to see you. You called my husband already? <sighs> this is a very shameful act. Anyway, madam, I actually came for this purpose and it's been achieved. I will have to take my leave now, immediately. Too tired and too surprised to stay longer. Thank you. reported you to your father. I don't know what to do. So I'm waiting for him to come back. Whatever he wants to do with me, let him do. Do you want to break my marriage? Okay, I think the best thing is for me to pack my load and leave this house for you people. Is that what you want? No. <sighs> These children will not kill me, God. How can my children be stealing, eh? How can my children be stealing, God? <sighs> Hey, God, oh, Chinekenna. Hey! The good book says, <laughs> guard your heart. Mm -hmm. For out of it, all passions of life. I'm Droba. Thief. Criminal. So you, you let mom beat me for what I did not do. Well, you slash. Dad is back, and I'm sure he's going to kill you today. <laughs> Whoever did all of these things to me, God will fight for me. <laughs> Look at this one. You're calling God's name. The last time I checked, God said that nobody should call his name in vain. And I think that's what you're doing now, because God doesn't save armed robbers, because he even punishes them, <laughs> because they're armed robbers. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Stop calling me an arm dropper. Of course, that's what you are. Who doesn't know that you're an arm dropper? That's the career you've already chosen. You've already started it. The only prayer I'm praying for you as a sister, that I am a good sister, is so that you'll be successful in your, you know, arm robbery career. You understand? You know, because there are some other armed robbers that are not successful, no matter what they do. Yes, so I want you to be successful. Mm -hmm. 
Let me quickly leave this place before you infect me. I hope this is really smelling theft and robbery. Slaves and horses and princes on foot. There's no justice here. This is my growing pains. When we let the pride and envy blind our eyes and seal our hearts. This is my growing pain. The innocent suffer. While the evil ones are holding sway, there's no justice here. Mm -hmm. Lying and cheating, what do you hope to get? You try so hard to bring your brother down. Where do we go from here? This is my road. Come here, Ada. Okay, sir. Honey, you don't need to beat her again. I've already beaten her. Well, of course you have beaten her. Look at it. This is how you train them. Look at the kind of girl she has turned out to be. Ada. Why? Why? I brought you and your sister an Android phone. Did I not? So what is special about the phone you stole? Answer me. Daddy. I swear by everything. Do not swear. Don't ever swear to me again. Do you, want, do, you, do you want to kill her? You want to disgrace me? If you want to? I'll deal with you. Oh no. Oh God. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Is that how to say sorry? I'm trying to make her feel better. Ada, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's okay, my daughter. Maybe I'm the one seeing you without knowing. It's okay. I need help. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. I'll look for what to do about it, okay? The only okay. way is to stop stealing. If you see someone's belonging, don't take it. Stop bringing shame to this family. Okay. The only right. remedy is to stop stealing. I'm just advising now, you know I'm an help. I said I'm it's enough. Oh. You don't have to respond to everything you see. What is your problem? Okay. But it's just an advice. We all need to help her to stop stealing, right? Come Since she can never stop on her own. It's just... Oh, okay. I've told you, mommy, she can never change. Inborn criminal. Right from birth. Huh. You have forgotten your phone. Hold this one so that she doesn't take it. I don't know whether she'll take it. I'm just saying. That was too harsh. 
You could have killed her. No, it's better she dies than to bring shame and disgrace to my home. Felix, you're talking about your daughter here. My daughter? I, I'm, I'm beginning to doubt that. I'm beginning to doubt it. What are you trying to say? Well, what I'm trying to say is, I am not a criminal. I have never stolen a thing in my life. There's no criminal in my family. We don't have it in our gene. I, I, I don't know about you. I don't. Oh, oh okay. J just, just state it. You're trying to say now that I have criminal genes, or maybe no, I cheated on you. Well, I, I cheated on you with a criminal and gave you that right? Well, when you're stating the obvious, why should I say so much? I don't need to say so much. Okay. Okay, that's good. Just say it. Say it. When the child is bad, it's for the mother. And when the child is good, it's for the father, right? No, no. Right? How, how can I give birth to a criminal? It's not possible. No, she's not your daughter now. Yeah, no, I, I, I gave birth to her for a criminal, uh, for, for one arm drubber. Is that what you, you no, no, that's exactly what you're trying to say. Is that not what you're trying to say? How can you give, how, how can you give back to a criminal? No, the, the child dro dropped from heaven. He's, she's not your child. She's not your child. You should better check your family, whether you have criminals in your family and stop saying all these things you're saying. No, 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 now you're telling me that, yeah, how can you give birth to a criminal? No, I, no, I cheated on you now. Sorry, this is actually not funny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the price of a common thief. <laughs> this is actually the price of becoming a thief. A criminal, professional criminal. <laughs> you know, I read a book, even though I'm too dumb, so no matter how hard I read, I'll never be smart like you, whatever. But unfortunately for you, I read something and it says, if you steal an apple, you're a common thief just like you are right now. <laughs> but if you steal a kingdom, you're a statesman. So dear sister, if you really, really, really want to go deep in this career that you have already chosen, which is stealing, Yes, you have to choose your targets wisely. Still big things that will make you a statesman and not a common thief. <laughs> Angel, my life was peaceful. Amazing. I was minding my business. Until you came with your trouble. Can you just let me rest for once? Hold on, sorry, I want to ask a question. It's not like I'm... <laughs> So, massaging your face all alone <laughs> is what you call peace, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This girl, you actually have a long way to go. So, I'm thinking, mm, what will be your next target? Because, you know, you always have something to steal. Is it that you want to steal a phone or you want to steal a book or you want to steal something that does not make sense? So, tell me, what you want to steal next? Hmm? Or you want to really consider what I said about stealing bigger things, like being a statesman. <laughs> I want to discuss something with you. Yeah, what is it? Okay, um, I'm thinking we should get help for Ada. This her sudden change in attitude is giving me serious concern. It should. It should. Because you failed. 
you failed to perform your duties as a mother to train her properly. It should. Okay, babe, please. Please, I beg you. Let's not quarrel over her dad. All I want is to get her help. Get what type, What kind of help are we talking about? What type of help? Because the only help I see here is to continue beating her until she stops stealing. That's not how to raise up a child. Is that so? Yes. So what way should we raise her? What type of way? I'm thinking we should go spiritual. I mean, Ada used to be our favorite child. She was good in her academics. She was perfect in practically everything. All of a sudden, she changed. Don't you think it's spiritual? Eh? Do you want to go spiritual? Yes. Okay. That is your department. You can go spiritual. Once you go spiritual, I'll go physical. Okay? Really? You continue the spirit side, I'll continue the beating. Simple. Okay. Really? Yes, really. I told you this so that we'll, we'll come to an agreement on it and then you, you're saying this. But we have agreed. You are going to take care of the spiritual aspect. I'll take care of the physical aspect. Pray. I beat. Balance. You're, you're, you're telling me so spirits will go and tell her, go and steal, she will rush and go and steal. Please don't be like this, please. No, handle the spirit world. I will handle the physical world. Look, I have email to reply, please. Don't, don't stress me. going to school for you from today until we find out what your problem is. Your mother, she has decided to go spiritual so that we know what spirit has possessed you. So, no more going to school for you from today. Daddy, please. One more word, I will lock you up. Let's just listen to him without talking. Angel, get into the car. You, open the gate. Now, open go, 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 go. Oh. I said open the gate. I'm tired of everything. I'm tired. My husband believes I have failed in my duty as a mother, and I don't want him thinking like that. Every day we quarrel. Every day. What should I do? I'm tired. This is very bad. Really terrible. Can I see the girl in question? Yes. Ada? Ada? Yes, Mom. Good day, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Annabelle. Yes. Please, can you let us know? I just want to talk to her. How are you? I'm fine, ma. My name is Rita. I'm a psychologist. 
Your mom invited me. I just want to discuss with you and ask you some questions concerning what has been happening. I'm not going to be answering any questions, ma'am. I am not sick and I am not a thief. Somebody is setting me up for a reason I do not know. Do I look stupid? No, you don't. Don't say that. Is it that someone sets me up or I'm always at the wrong place at the wrong time? I do not need a psychologist. Ada, I know these things and I want you to be very honest with me. Okay, ask. So what are your observations? Annabelle, nothing seems to be wrong with your daughter. She sounds so fine. And that gets very intelligent. So? There are two things involved here. It's either someone is setting her up, or she's a very good liar. Are you saying it's possible that she's not the one stealing? Yes. Yeah. I could not prefer her very well. Your daughter is very intelligent. Ha, ah, Rita, I need answers. I need answers. This thing is causing problems between my husband and I. I, I need answers. What do I tell him? When he comes back from work now, the first thing he will say is, okay, what is happening? Okay, because I already told him I'm bringing in a psychologist. I need answers. Rita, Just please, him that help me. Uh, probability. There are 80% chances she's not a thief. I, I don't see that girl as a thief. Are you sure? I'm very sure. This is my job. So how come yeah. things are missing in the house almost every time? Eh? Okay, let me so go sorry back about home. That. So All sorry. Right, thank you. Take care. Take care of yourself, eh? All right. All right, bye. Fada is not a thief, so who is? Who is behind all these stealings? The money? The maids? The phone? But, but she's always there when it happens. Oh God. What is really happening? Who is the person? Who is behind all this? How do I stop this? Make sure I find a solution to all of this. Exactly. Hmm? I'm Joba. Welcome from where? You know, I am disappointed. You're a disgrace to this family. I can't even believe we're siblings. You know the kind of embarrassment, you know, how I was ashamed in school. You know the kind of embarrassment I had to go through. Everybody was insulting me. Everybody was... I, I was being treated like a thief because you stole the phone. It was almost as if I stole the phone myself. My spirit just told me that you are lying. 
Look at the way you just exaggerated. If things really happened the way you said it, believe me, you would not state your closing time. You must be insane for saying that. You're not feeling too well. And it's not like I, 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 I didn't try to defend you. I tried. I told them that she's my sister. She cannot steal a phone. But they kept on insulting me. Can you imagine? They, they were insulting me. Some of them even sent me to insult you. But I'm not going to do that because I'm your sister. Did I ask you to defend me? <laughs> oh, well. Ada, you know, apart from being a professional criminal, a destined armed robber, you're an, you're an ingrate, an ungrateful soul. Yeah. I told you, and then you're trying to. Please don't scratch the word. Don't talk to me. Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Um, is your madam around? Yeah, she's inside. Okay. Yeah, come in. Okay. Madam, what happened? I didn't see Ada in her class today. And then I asked her sister. She told me that your husband stopped her. <laughs> Why? Her father said he doesn't want her to go there and disgrace him, so he said she should stay at home. Hmm. Stopping her from going to school is not in any way going to help the situation. Same thing I said. Eh? What do you want me to do now? I don't even know what to do, honestly. And then Angel said her classmates were making a mockery of her. Is that true? <laughs> That's not true. What I am sure of is I made sure the principal never finds out. Thank you very Please, much. madam, beg your husband to let this girl resume school. Besides, I've left everything behind me, but she will have to promise me that it will never happen again. I know it will never happen again, Juliet. And thank you for your concern. You're welcome. But please, can you help me call their father? Please help me call my husband. Talk to him. I'm sure he will not listen to me because he believes I'm the one that is the cause of everything that is going on in this house. Please, help me talk to him. Eh? That would not be a problem. I'll talk to him. But... I also want you to sit him down and talk to him. He's your husband. You understand. Okay. He will, I'm sure. I'll, I'll try. I'll talk to him. <sighs> okay, I will have to take my leave now. Thank you very much. <sighs> Thank the you stress very much. of the day. <laughs> You're Thank welcome. You for your You're right? welcome, Thank madam. You. I just came in now. Yeah, a few minutes ago. Come, no, I don't think I can come out this night. Let's leave it tomorrow. Yeah, come to my office, 10 a.m. tomorrow, it's fine. Alright, thank you. Hey. Honey. Hmm? Miss Julius was here, Ada's class teacher. What information did she bring? She said we should allow Ada to come back to school. Keeping her out of school would do her no good. Annabelle, I would not like that girl to bring in further insult and shame to my house. Reason I asked her to stay home and help you with the chores. That's not the best for her. Okay, what is the best for her? No, what is the best for her? You said you wanted to go spiritual, right? Have you contacted your spiritualist? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. You're trying, you're trying. 
You try. Look, Annabelle, I'm tired. I just got in. I need to be left alone. Okay, I have things I want to do. You're trying. Please just allow her to go back to school. <sighs> Hello? I told him, but he said no. Look, things are getting out of hand in this house. I think you should come and talk to him in person. Yes, if you talk to him face to face, he might accept. Thank you. Right. Things are getting out of hand between your father and I. Your class teacher was here. She pleaded that we allow you to come back to school. But I spoke to your father. He refused, saying that you might go there and take things that does not belong to you. Well, I'm so sorry. I really don't know what's going on. I want you to go and plead with your dad. Plead for what? I should tell him that I've been the one stealing all these things. Plead to him to allow you to go back to school. Or don't you want to go back to school? Okay. But I will not promise I won't steal again because I've never stolen anything in my life. You just go and plead with him. He's in our room. I'll wait for you in the sitting room, okay? Okay. Now go. What do you want, Ada? Daddy. I'm sorry for everything. I don't know what to say again. Should I say that I don't know what's going on with me? I'm here because of my love for education. If you want to punish me, you can do so. Oh, please, don't seize my right to education, Daddy. It will kill me. Did I do anything wrong? I've done everything a father can do for a daughter. So why have you and your mother chosen to disgrace me? Why? Daddy, mommy has nothing to do with this. I'm tired of defending myself. I just want your forgiveness, please. I've heard you can go. Go to your room.
Um, sir, I'm actually here because of your daughter, Ada. I know recently many things has been happening and you're so upset about it. Please, forgive that little girl, Ada, and allow her to come back to school. No. She's not going back to any school. Not whilst my name and reputation is at stake. But, sir, uh, if she doesn't come back to school, her school name is also at stake, sir. How do you mean? That girl is the champion of our school. Very brilliant. Besides, she has been selected to represent the school at the state quiz competition. Please, sir. Please. Let me ask you. What assurance do you have that she will not steal again? What assurance do you have she will not steal at the competition? You see, Miss Juliet, Ada is my daughter. In fact, she was my favorite daughter until she started doing this rubbish. So whatever decision I'm making, I'm doing and making them to protect her. And of course, to protect my name. So she's grounded. No schooling, no church, no going out for shopping, no seeing friends, nothing at all until further notice. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't understand, sir. That's not protection. Rather, you're tarnishing her image and destroying her life. I'm sure you understand what I mean. And my decision is final. Is there any other thing you want to discuss? Nothing, sir. Good. Then I guess we're done here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. What do you hope to give? You try so hard to bring your brother down. Bye bye, sir. Where do we go from here? This is my growing pains. I'm a witness to the decay. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, your husband is a very difficult man. My dear, I know. I'm not surprised. You see, he can never change his mind once he takes a decision. I married him, I know who he is. <laughs> Anyways, give this to Ada. Okay. She will have to study it very well. It's a question booklet from the past state quiz competition. Okay. Yes. Right. Let her go through it. Okay, I'll give it to her. Thank you very much. I will continue talking to her dad. Please don't get yourself worked up. My dear, there's nothing I can do. Thank you very much. All right, let me take my leave. All, All right. right, take care. Yeah? Bye. Hi, mom. Hi, baby. What's this? Um, your teacher asked me to give it to you. She said it's the question from the past quiz competition. Like she wants you to study it. But dad won't allow me go. <sighs> well, she said she will keep talking to your dad. But just study it. If he allows you to go, fine. And if he doesn't, I'm sure you're going to get more knowledge from it. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So study it. Hmm? Alright. Hey. 
What is it? Please, I want you to still consider what Ada's teacher said. I don't want her to keep missing school. You're not in the position to make that decision. That's why I'm pleading with you. Please, reason with me. I've heard you. Can I sleep now? Thank you. Good night. you were picked for the upcoming state quiz competition. Like always, I'm the school champ. School champ? Oh dear, so sorry to bust your bubbles. That was when you have not started stealing. Yes. Right now, I don't know. Who knows? You might just go there and decide to steal someone's money phone, or even worse than that. That is your prayer. I'm already there. <laughs> oh well, my dear sister, but you will not go to that competition. Dad is not going to even permit you. With or without Dad's permission, I am going. Oh, is that how it is? Yes. Well, we'll see about that, champ. See, whatever you want, I will give it to you. Sorry, I want to ask a question. Are you having a mental problem? You're the one that has a mental problem. Because last time I checked, I wasn't with the lowest IQ in this house. Are you talking to me? Yes, who else? Are you talking to me? Did you just talk to me like that? Did you just hit me? Yes, I did, and I'll do it again. Do I look... Like someone that wants to take your nonsense. What? Do I look like and someone? And do I look like someone that wants to take your nonsense from a little girl? I've been like holding you. this for the longest time. Oh, you are wow. so annoying. Oh, really? You are the most annoying person. I, I will, will beat you up so like a little girl today. that you are. You won't like Don't touch me. Look, I'm trying, I'm trying not to wound you. You know why? Because I don't know where I'm going to touch you and I'm going to kill you. Uh, yes, please. So I'm just not going to. You're just all talk, no action, nothing. No action, yeah. No, nothing. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Where are you going? Uh, uh, actually, told her. I warned her, but she said that nobody can stop her from going to school. Not even I you. never said that, Daddy. I didn't say that. Mommy said that I could go that you guys talked about it last night. Well, I didn't agree to her plea. Oh. Go back inside and change your uniform. Okay, Daddy. I'll just go downstairs now and go to school. It's okay. I'll drop you. So. Oh, thank you so much, Daddy. Change. Bye, Ada. Go, go. You need to stop crying. Hmm? Okay, you know what? I'll talk to him again. I'm sure he will allow you to go back to school. Okay? Stop crying. Come on. Stop crying. Hmm? Mommy, I'm not a thief. Oh God, allow me to be going through this pain. You know, sometimes God throws challenges at us. And when we survive it, we become stronger. Okay? 
pretty soon will pass and it will make you a strong girl. Hmm? If things continue like this, I don't think I'll be able to survive it. Of course you will. Hmm? Are you not my strong girl again? You will survive it. You are strong. I'm going through the same thing with your father. Do you know he thinks all of this that is happening to you is all my fault? Hmm? And do you see me crying? So don't cry. Stop crying, okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's fine. Hmm? It's okay. Now I'm going to change something else, alright? sworn that I will not work for you in my own school. I will have to face embarrassment. Because of who? An armed robber. A professional criminal. Can you imagine? My friends are now avoiding me because, because my sister stole something. God, I thought, I thought having a sister was a blessing. I thought it was a blessing, but now I, don't, I, I, I cannot differentiate if this one is a blessing or a cause. Because everywhere I go, they keep pointing fingers at me. They keep telling me I, I, I'm a sister to a thief. And that heaven will judge you. Heaven will judge you. Because you have made everybody start insulting me. They now point at me, telling me that I, I, I'm, a, I'm a sister to a thief. Can you imagine? Ah, oh God. It shall never be well with you. It shall never be well with you. Now I cannot work freely in my own school. My friends are avoiding me. They don't go around with me anymore. Because of what? A thief? You're not listening to me. Oh, you know I'm talking to you, but you don't want to listen to me. Ada? Ada? Okay. You're now deaf and dumb. You're dumb. You're deaf. You cannot hear and you cannot talk. You'll be blind. You, you'll be crippled. Everything about you. Ada? You're reading, show me. Hmm? Why would you be reading when I'm talking to you? Why? You're trying to show me that... I said, give me that book. I want to show me that you're smart with your glasses, nerd. <laughs> Nonsense. <sighs> Welcome, Miss Juliet. Thank you. So, how was school today? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> and how had your day been? Oh, very well, as usual. I've been at home. <laughs> <laughs> Please, um, I'm thirsty. I need water. Okay. Ada? Ada? Yes, Mom. Come, please. <laughs> oh. How are you, darling? Get your teacher a glass of water. Okay. We miss you in school. <laughs> I'm sure she misses school too. <laughs> I know. But why is she not in school, Kim? <laughs> Honestly, my hands are tied. Do you know I spoke to my husband last night about it? I thought we had finalized. Then this morning he surprised me again. That man, honestly, I don't know what to do. Well, <sighs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, my love. You can go back upstairs. Honestly. I don't know what to do again. And I'll, I want her to go back to school. Honestly. It's well. Thank you. 
madam. No. There is a problem. Okay. There is a new development in school today. Wow. The principal finds out. And then I confronted Joe, the one whose phone was missing. Okay. He told me he has no idea. I'm scared because the principal promised to expel her. No panics, please. I had to speak to the principal. I told her that she was selected to represent the school at the okay. state quiz yeah. competition. Okay. Okay. And then she gave us a condition. What condition? What's the condition? Well, she said she has to win the competition. I trust my gosh. <laughs> so what do you think about it? Sincerely, I mean... Ada is one student I love so much. But this sudden change is, is, is shocking. So what are we going to do? Yeah. What do you think we should do about the this The only now? challenge we have here is your husband, madam. That's the only challenge we have. If that is the challenge, I'll handle him. He's my husband. I know what to do about it. Anyway, so. I have to take my leave now. Uh, your bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so you want to leave your bag with us? <laughs> hey, let's... What's that? What are you looking for? Ah, uh -uh. my phone. Your phone? Yes, ma. Are you sure you came here with it? I'm very sure I came with it. Uh, no, uh -uh. I don't think so. Ah, uh -uh. hey, <laughs> what's going on? Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. Ada, Ada. <laughs> You were the one that brought water for your teacher, right? Yes. We stepped outside to finish our discussions. And now she came back and cannot find her phone. Where is her phone? Mom, please, don't just start. Just because I gave her water doesn't mean I took her phone. So where is the phone? What happened to the phone? I, I don't know. Listen, Ada, oh, God, you know I like you very, very much. And I'm fighting for you, doing everything possible so you can come back to school. Please, did you take my phone? No, I swear by this soon. I don't know where it is. <gasps> Bring out her phone before I kill you now. Bring out her phone. Bring out her phone. Where it is. So how did the phone get missing here? I don't know. What's going on? What's Someone going on? took my phone. My phone is missing. Your phone is missing in this house. You just heard me. Okay, Andrew, where is it? Where did you keep it? I don't know where it is, Angel. Where did you keep it? Because you're the only arm robber we have in this house. I am not an arm robber. So who is it? Me, Mom? Who? It can be you. <laughs> I'm talking about Mom. Mom, she said you're an arm robber. I never Shut said up your that. mouth! Now both of you should go and look for that phone. Go and look for the phone for me, people! Look, you need to go and, and get that phone from somewhere. You're an arm robber you and you're shutting up your mouth! This trigger, man. Eh? <laughs> You must provide this phone today. I need this phone to come out before your father returns. What is all this? When did, when did this start? No, 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 no. I will not take it from both of you at all. How can a visitor's phone get missing in my house? Hey? Ada, Ma? where is the phone? I don't know. Angel, Ma? where is the phone? I'm not the thief here, it's Ada. You're not the thief here, it's Ada. Ada. <sighs> if you don't provide this phone, both of you, if you don't provide this phone, I will do something both of you will regret. And I promise you that. Rubbish. You keep the phone. What do you mean, where did I keep the phone? You know I don't have it. Oh, what? wow. So where is it? It's with you. Who, me? I'm suspecting you. <laughs> you can't stop so long to steal just Every phone. time you're you blaming everything on me. Thief. Because you, you're, you're a thief.
Robert, why not just accept that fact? Look, I'm not going to let mom punish me for what I didn't do. Whether mom wants to punish us or not, I will not be admitted to something I didn't do, Angel. Oh, Jesus. So why are you dragging this? Why are you denying it? We both know. Mom knows. Dad knows you're the only thief in this house. Okay, first of all, you stole money. The next one, you stole chicken from the pot, which makes you a common thief, but whatever. You stole a phone, and now you have the guts to steal your teacher's phone. Ata, why? That's so shameful. Why, why would you keep stealing? You can say whatever you want to say. But I know that I have never taken anything that does not belong to me. Like, like okay, wait, we find everything either in your bag, in, a, in your own cupboard, or in your stomach, or on your own side of the room, and then you still, you're still denying it. Because someone sets me up. Who set you up? Your body, know. your soul, your spirit. I'm Who? looking for the your person. Glasses. Huh, God. She's still denying it. I'm not denying it. What are you doing? Why are you bringing my past questions for the quiz competition? Yes, you're, not you're not going to any competition, I told you, right? I told you. What's wrong with me is that you're always so wicked. What the hell? Why? Why? Because you're not going for that competition. Move! What is wrong with you? Did you just hit me? Yes! Did you just hit me? Do you realize that I'm older than you? Can you just you? Stop! Make your life easier! You're always doing this to me! It's okay! You're not going for that! Where would you burn it? Why would you burn it in the first place? Why? Why? Why are you so wicked? Why? Why are you so wicked? Stop it! What? Burn it in my face! My past questions for the quiz! Stop it! 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 Angel, why did you do this? Are you walking out on me? Angel! Angel! wrong with you? What? Eh? what is wrong with you? Why did you burn her booklet? Mom, we need to put an end to this disgrace Ada is bringing into this house. Yes, if you're not tired of the embarrassment, I am. If you're not tired of the embarrassment, I am. I am I'm, I'm tired. Yes. And what are you searching for in there? Mom, our teacher's phone is in this house somewhere. I know that Ada stole it and she has been hiding it. I don't know where she hid it, but I must find it. It might not be in this room, it might be anywhere else, but I'll find it. See that phone? I'll find it. This girl. This girl. You, you, you're acting as if it's, it's, it's not God true. It's mercy. true. She's a thief. It's obvious. I must find this. This phone. Where did she keep this phone, eh? <laughs> it's fine. Just send me everything. That slippers, the one I sent to you. I want that one. Yes, come in. And the handbag Honey. too. Let me let me call you back. Guess what I found? Let me call you back. Look. Look at. Look at. It's Juliet's phone. Yes, I found it. Where did you get this? In the room. I told you that this girl is a criminal. Oh, Arthur is a professional thief. God. And I don't know who owns this gold chain. I don't know where she stole this one from. But this girl is a professional criminal. <sighs> eh? The best is just to get rid of her, just to kill her so that we will not oh, shut up your mouth, Osiso. What do you mean kill her? I'm just telling you the best option. Angel, I have told you never to use such words about your sister again. She's your sister, good or bad. Okay, I've heard you, even though that's actually the best way to handle her. Shut up! Okay, but one more thing before I leave. I don't also know that I found this thing. I arranged the room the way it was so she, she will not notice when she goes to search. You understand? So please, I want you to handle these things as it should be. Okay? Uh -huh. Hey, I cannot be stealing this kind of thing. Can you imagine? She'll kill her. Hey. Hey, 
Very fine. How was work? Daddy is really, really stressed out. Oh, I need to go and rest, okay? Um, Daddy, I need to tell you something. What happened? You know, um, you know Tia Juliet, right? Yes. Yes, she came to the house today. And Ada, the androba of this house, stole her phone. She stole it, yes. She stole it and hid it, thinking nobody can find it. But I found it. And I think she went out and stole something else because right beside that phone, I found a gold necklace. Yes! So she stole the both of them and hid it. Can you imagine that? So terrible. But look, mom said I should not mention this to you. So you're going to just act like you just found out, you understand? Don't tell her I told you. Okay? Dad? It's okay, Angel. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're a good girl. Yeah, I'm a good girl. I know. So you can go ahead and kill her. Why would she be still in the phone? <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> How was the day? It was good. How was yours? It was okay. <laughs> Welcome. You're sure it was okay? Because I heard that the hunter killed again. The hunter? Yes. Ada stole her teacher's phone. And you tried to hide it from me. No, that was not the plan. I mean, I'm not trying to hide it away from you, knowing that Juliet could call and report the information to you. Don't worry about it. An angel found the phone. I'm just worried about Ada. I mean, I'm just concerned about her. Something is wrong somewhere. You should be. Because you failed. Come on, babe. Don't be like this again. I mean, do you want us to start quarreling about this again? I don't know why you're... Please, I beg. I'm not, I'm not even in for all this your trouble this minute, please. You can have the room to yourself. You think you're smart, right? Yes, you think you're smart. You stole teacher Juliet's phone and you hid it, thinking nobody will find it. Oh, sorry, my little sister. I found it and I gave it to mom. Yes, I gave it to her. And I also found a gold necklace. Yes. Oh, God. Whoever owns that necklace should be sad right now. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? How? If you found a phone and a necklace, then it's clearly your doing. I'm starting to look at things from a different angle. I think you're the one setting me up. And I just don't know why. Think whatever you want to think. It's none of my business. Just so you know, everybody in this house now believes you're a thief. And Dad came back and I told him everything. You did what? Yes, I told him everything. Oh, you're scared that dad is going to punish you. Oh. Angel, why are you this heartless? What is your problem? What did I do? I, 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 why did you report that to your father? Well, I told him the truth. Yes, she stole the phone and I found it, which makes me the genius. And was there a time I asked you to report this to him? Angel, why are you making things difficult for me in this marriage? What is your problem? Sorry, mom. I'm sorry. But as you can see, Ada here is already a criminal and she needs to be treated like a criminal. That she is. Yes. Angel. Ma. Angel. Ma. Next time you lie against me, I'll forget that you're my daughter. Sorry. You just eye me. You are so disrespectful. Shh. I'm just going to calm down, yeah. I'm going to act like that didn't happen. Yeah, didn't happen. Yeah. I call this meeting because I have decided to take Ada to the village to stay with my mother. Anyone who stays with my mother and doesn't change for good can never change. 
Mm-hmm. So, Ada, I'll take you to the village so you stay with Granny. Yes. See it as, as a rehabilitation center. Okay? Well, honey, well, honey, there's nothing wrong with Ada going to the village to stay with your mom. But please, can you just allow her to finish her final exams and then participate in the school competition? Look, mom, you're not listening. You're not listening to what dad is saying. She's an Andrew, but a Shut up like, your mouth. Wait, you try to listen to me, okay? She might go to the competition and steal a car, a phone, a wristwatch, or anything. Think about it. She's unpredictable. Angel is right. Yes, I'm right. And that is unpredictable. Very unpredictable. But. But. I will allow her to finish her exams. Dad. But do not say I didn't want. Anything that happens becomes your responsibility. Yes. You know what I mean. Yes. It's my responsibility. Daddy. Good. Dad. I thought you said she'll go tomorrow. Why are you gonna show me a pillow? Daddy! <laughs> so you allow you to write your final exams and you also go for the competition, alright? Why are you laughing? Hmm? Why are you laughing? You see that competition? You are not going, my dear sister. You are not going for that competition. With disgrace to this family. And let me tell you something. I am going to that competition <laughs> and I'm going to win. Oh. As for that village, you'll be the one going to the village, not me. Oh, wow. Okay. That's exciting. Well, we'll see about that. Ada, can you see those promises? I will keep them. Yes, very well. You're just a toothless bulldog. Please <laughs> move. Toothless bulldog. Yes. Now you have the mouth to insult me. Well, I'll show you what a toothless bulldog can do. Bark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you say that to me? You're really losing respect now. I'm going to just calm down and act like nothing happened. Kingsley! Uh -uh. Kingsley! Good morning, Miss Juliet. Yeah, good morning. I'm so sorry. Yeah, her sister found it. I'm tired of the whole thing, Seth. Yeah? My dear, as it stands now, she's my responsibility. Will you please help me take care of her? Uh, I don't want the situation to repeat itself. All right, thank you very much. Angel. Ma? Ada is your kid sister. Try to look out for her. When people say bad things about her, protect her, fight for her. That is the duty of an older sister. Oh, you want me to protect this one? Yes, protect her. This one that knows more than me. She's an armed robber. She can oh, never be... Shut up. Stop saying those things about your sister. Stop it. No, it's yeah. okay. Don't worry. I can take care of myself. Yes, you can. While well, stealing. Andrea is the last person you should ask to look after me. I'm ready to go to school. It's Shall okay. we? Mm. We girls take care, right? Yeah. yeah. Take Honey. Yeah. Thank you for allowing her to go back to school. 
and also allowing her to partake in the school competition. Mm. I promise she will change for the better. Thank you. It's no problem. She's my daughter. I will just wait and pray the change comes. Hmm? It will. <laughs> Shit, I'm late. Late for work. All right, baby. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> Your grandchildren misses you, your mommy. <laughs> when are you visiting us? Uh, you're not back from school yet. Mm, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, mommy. Oh, Angel, just um, Angel, come, you... come, come, come. Where's your sister? My sister, Ada. Uh-uh. Ada? I said, where's your sister? And you're asking me, Ada. Where's your sister? Is she not home yet? I mean, she left before me. What do you mean, is she not home yet? Don't you guys come home together? She didn't want to wait for me, so she left. She didn't want to wait for me. Maybe because people were insulting her, calling her a thief. Or maybe she went to see her boyfriend. Oh. Boyfriend? Boyfriend. Yes, mommy. Ada has a boyfriend and you never mentioned it to us? Mommy, I should not be saying everything. I must not say everything. And you should know that an armed robber like Ada is capable of doing anything. She can even have a sugar daddy. Maybe she has. Now I know you're lying and exaggerating. Get out of my sight. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm going. Upstairs. I'm going upstairs. You came back with your sister and you're asking me I your, your sister. She is. Your sister. What kind of a girl are you? Hello, Miss Juliet. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, Adada is not back from school yet. Eh? I don't know. I mean, she, she's not back. I mean, from, from the estate, she, she, from the estate, she, I don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey. God of mercy. Where could she have gone to? I don't know. 
Her sister says she left school before her because um, some of her classmates were, were calling her thief. She lied. Really? Yes. Because I saw the both of them leaving the school premises together. Mother, please, please call Angel. Angel! Angel! Yes, mommy. Come down here! Come, 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 come here. Good afternoon, Mom. Angel. Mom? Why did you lie to your mother that Ada left the school premises before you? Didn't I see the both of you living together? Well, yes, you, you, you saw us living together. In fact, we left the school together. But immediately we got to Route 4. Immediately we got to Route 4. She hastened up. It was as if she was going somewhere or she didn't want to walk with me. I don't even know. Again, you lied. You told your mother that some people were calling her thief mm -hmm. in her class. Can I have the names? Let me have the list of their names. First thing tomorrow morning, they will be expelled out of that school. Hello? Did Kat cut your tongue? So, so, so you can't talk again? Angel, why do you lie so much? Eh? What would you derive from seeing your sister go down? Get out of my sight! I don't know what's wrong with her. Um, madam, I suggest you calm down. Um, my mind is telling me probably she may be somewhere studying her leaflets because she told me that the previous one I gave to her, Angel destroyed it. I had to give her another. No, that's true. She destroyed it. I, I'm very sorry to say. I think Angel doesn't like Ada. I don't have an answer to that. And I really do hope she's somewhere studying her leaflet like you said because... It's almost three hours since school closed. Eh? Exactly. Um, anyways, I will beg to take my leave now. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. Thank We're you. family. Thank it's beyond school. Every time I call you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Jules. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma. Take care. Thank you. Why did I switch off her phone? Eh? What's this girl up to? Oh God, who is this girl? I mean, it's just three roads away from road two to to, to road five. It's ten minutes. It's just ten minutes. Why is she not back? Where did this girl go to? Eh? God of mercy. Oh, God. Look, says, guard your heart. For out of it flows the passions of life. Spirit. Come here. Stop it. Stop it. 
still is evil. I think she's yeah, a criminal. Okay. She's a thief. How did she get here now? How did she come to this house? Okay, go upstairs and change. Huh? <laughs> come and come Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. You. Show me. Show me. Jesus, Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I told you, I said it, I said it. I, when I was saying everybody, you don't believe me. You are a criminal. You are an evil spirit. Listen to me, Angel. I'm free now. I'm not going to suffer anymore. So you want to destroy my name by all means, right? Right on. It's your turn to suffer now. You are an evil spirit. I said it not that you are an evil spirit. Oh, what Jesus, is I call myself. I mean, this girl is evil. This girl is evil. There's nothing you will tell me. She's possessed. Ask her where she's coming from. Ask her where she's coming from. She's evil. She's a criminal. I don't want to live with her again. She's not a human being. Oh, Jesus Ada? Christ. What is it? You're just trying to change. Criminal. You're even a liar. Angel. Mommy. Angel, what's wrong with you? Mommy, I cannot sleep in this guy's night. I cannot sleep here. I cannot sleep here. Angel, what is it? I cannot sleep here. Angel, what is wrong with you? She is evil. I said she's Honey. evil. Honey. You're not a human being. Are you sure you're even real? Where are you coming from, Ada? Ada, where are you coming from, Answer me. It's your space. It's your space. I came to your space. You're here questioning me. No, you came over back of my space. Honey, honey, please come. I don't know what is wrong with Angel. I think she's having a mental disorder. Please, just come, please. I don't know. Please, just come and check on her, please. <laughs> Angel? Angel? Hey, Angel! Angel! Hey, 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 It's okay, that is here, that is here. What is it? What, what, what did Ada do this time? What? I did take her out of this house. I don't want her in this house again. Take her out of this house. Okay, okay, okay. She's going to leave, okay? After after the final exam and the presentation. No! She... No! Let me see be her. She's always going to that competition. Why? She was your favorite daughter be before she became a thief. She's a thief! Okay, okay. <laughs> what, what if she just goes there and steals something? Maybe somebody's phone or something. Take her out of this house! 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 Take her out Honey, what do you think is wrong with her? I don't know. I think it's depression. Depression? Yeah. She's scared that I'm a might go out there and disgrace us more by stealing again. That fear took a better part of her. Honestly, this is strange. Yeah. First thing tomorrow morning, we are taking her to the hospital. And once she recovers, I'm taking her to the village. I can't afford to lose two of my daughters. I've lost Ada already to lies and stealing. Don't talk like that. My decision is final. Try not to wake up. Okay.
Ada. What's going on? You don't seem to care about what's happening to Angel. She called me a thief. What's a thief supposed to do? Don't worry. With time, you'll see who the actual thief is. You've changed. I'm perfect now. You don't need to worry about me or anything else. I just want to let you know that I love you so much and you're the best mom in the universe. But your dad doesn't believe that. I want you to believe that. Okay. Let me go and check on Angel. You two go and sleep, okay? Okay, Ada? Why are you crying? It's nothing. You can go now. I love you. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Okay. Go to sleep, right? Okay. She's still sleeping. And then Ada is, is acting strange. She's very smart. Okay. She can be very, very manipulative. Babe, I know what I'm talking about. She's my daughter. She said something to me now. I, I'm supposed to be happy, but... But I'm kind of, I'm, I'm sad, like, I know. something is, 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 is not right. I know. That is what manipulation will do to you. Hmm? <sighs> There's something, something is, is wrong somewhere. I don't know what it is, but... How is she? She's still like that. <sighs> Honey, do you think what Angel is saying about Ada is true? What do you mean, do you think what she's saying about Ada is true? It can't be true. No, I don't think it's true. Care for water? <sighs> I'm okay. Thank you. What is happening in this house tonight? Why is everybody acting so strange? Angel. Ada is here sleeping. Oh God, what is wrong with Angel? I hope Felix is not. No, no, he cannot be right. No. Juliet, what, what's going on? Why are you crying? 
Good evening, ma'am. My name is Jasper. Yeah. I'm one of the state security, the husband. Yes, okay. my husband is in. Is there a problem? What is going on here? Um, Miss Juliet. <gasps> sorry, sir. I think I have a bad news for you. The both of you have to follow me to come and identify your to, to come and the body of your daughter. Which daughter? Oh, man. Um, I actually went with him. I saw the body. The body of which body now? The body looked like the body of my student and not the body of her dad. <laughs> the body of, what do you mean, the body of her dad? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Are you sure you know what you're saying? Because my daughter slept in this house and she's still in her room. You guys are joking, right? Sorry. <laughs> this is not a joke, sir! Honey, bring her down. It's okay. As soon as you finish reading this note, you will find out about all that has been happening. <laughs> so bad, I see you writing as favorite. <laughs> 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 Your results is so amazing. <laughs> Thank you, You're the best student in your class. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you Honey, we need to celebrate her so that we can encourage her more. Oh, yes, sure. <laughs> I'll take you out and buy you whatever you need, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is good. Wow. And you, Angel. What is wrong with you? What is this? This is the second time you're repeating the same class. Now you're in the same class with your younger sister. What is your problem? You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame. And then look at your envelope. 
Look at your envelope. You already tore it before you got home. Look at your sister's own. It's still very clean. Huh? I don't know where you got your dull brain from. Now I'm going to the kitchen and go and prepare something for us to eat. At least if you're not good in academics, you should be able to cook. That day, I swore that I would make you hate her. And I did something really bad. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. We'll be going through road 4 by 315. Correct, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.
phone that planted the phone, the money. I took the chicken. And in school, I also took the phone. Because oh, no. I wanted everybody to hate her in school. I wanted them to think of her as a thief. Oh, God, why, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, I, I planted the phone and she was better than me because she was the school champion because she always goes for competitions. Is that it? I wanted them to hate her. And that was why I did all that. I didn't want to kill her, I swear. I didn't want to kill her. I, I just wanted her to go to the village and that's it. But you can't. You insisted that she, she takes part in the competition. And I didn't want her dear, so... I killed her. As you can see, Mr. Felix, this is a murder case. And definitely have to hand over this case to the police. Daddy, I don't want to go to the police station. I don't want to get arrested. Angel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I prioritize Ada over you. It is not out of wickedness. We just want you to do better in school. Okay? You're my first daughter. You're my womb opener. I love you so much. Don't ever think in any way that I love her more than you do. All right? I love both of you equally. All right. All right. I love you girls, okay? <laughs> Oh. 
say there's no justice here. Mm -hmm. Lying and cheating, what do you hope to get? You try so hard to bring your brother down. Where do we go from here? This is my growing pains. I'm a witness to the decay. Slaves on horses and princes on foot. There's no justice here. This is my growing pains. When we let the pride and envy. 